Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll be checking out my crane project here. Now, this is functionally working. There's still a lot of, to do on it though for like detail. And there are a couple of major uh, elements I still need to complete. Like I need to do the boom tip, the weight back here, along with the controller. And we'll get into that a little bit um, as the video goes on. Uh, so this model is based off of the Manitowoc 4100W crawler crane, which is my, my favorite crane. It's based off of the base model. Um, I did make a number of little changes on the model, you know, from the uh, real thing because uh, I wanted to make it easy to print, easy to assemble, and also functionally strong. So the changes I made were kind of based on those goals. Um, but it is really cool. It is working pretty well. <laughs> I have the remote here. Um, so oh, to get a little bit into kind of what needs to be done here. Um, the boom tip still needs to be done. I need to do the weights here on the back um, and yeah, the remote control. Uh, I'm just using my little prototype controller here, but I want to make a full industrial uh, stylized one, kind of like what I did with my walking table, a little different, um, obviously more controls. <laughs> on the crane itself here, yeah, it's, I have some areas detailed out pretty well, like here along the crawler tracks um, and also this whole gantry area. This is uh, pretty well done. I have it uh, pretty well done for how I'm gonna do like the boom and stuff. I just have to do the boom tip, um, but it's mainly the cab here that needs the most detail. Like I started here with the cab and you can see I can open and close the door there, um, but I wanna do a full detailed cab interior on that. I wanna have like lots of details on here just to make it fun and detail rich, so. Uh, <laughs> Now, when I release this model, I'm going to probably release the model um, once I get it through the detail stage and all that, but I'm going to release it without the controller. I'm going to probably put a modified version of the prototype controller um, together for the, the first release. And that's because I want people to get, you know, be able to get it sooner and get playing with it and stuff um, while I'm going through and modeling out the full controller for the, uh, <laughs> the full final release. So it'll come in those two stages. Um, and I'll probably do a video to kind of showing it off a little bit once I get a little more detail in there and get it updated because it's an exciting project. I do want to show it off. <laughs> um, well, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy checking out the Crawler Crane project with me and I look forward to sharing this with you. I'm going to be sharing it up on uh, Maker World along with all my other work. Um, of note too, this project is based on the Cyberbrick hardware. You can see I have the controller in there, the battery and everything. So. Um, and it makes use of most, most of the hardware is from the Maker Supply. The only thing that isn't going to be from the Maker Supply is the wire we're going to have to use for the, uh, all the winches and stuff because they don't have one on there long enough. Um, but everything else, full Maker Supply, Cyberbrick, all that good stuff. <laughs> um, one last note, this project is going to be, it's going to need a larger size printer. So you're going to need like an H2D size printer or something like that. Um, there's a fair amount of it that can actually be printed on the X1C, but I didn't target that build volume. So there are a few parts that kind of go a little bit over. Um, so yeah, but thank you to everyone that watched this video. I hope it was exciting. <laughs> um, maybe not that exciting. This is one of my first videos I've ever done though. So I'm a little anxious, a little nervous. Hope it wasn't too bad, but yeah, thank you.